If you watched my last video on the Anycubic Photon Mono X, you will know I had a failed print that I promised to redo with some slightly different settings. So in this video, I'll showcase that redone print, as well as a few others I have been printing on the machine. Before I did the Goku reprint, I decided that I also needed another little upgrade to the Mono, and so I designed this little bed attachment point which is printing now. This attachment point just means that once the print's finished, I can put the bed on an angle to allow the resin to drain off. I have still got a few more tweaks to make to this to make sure it's perfect, but then we'll upload it uh, and we'll put it in the description by the end of the week. Once the part was printed, I removed the supports, gave it a wash, and then used the heat from the bed to dry it ready for UV curing, which I've done in this little UV nail box. And there it is, you can see it working its magic, holding the build plate on an angle and of course if it actually had a print on this would just mean the resin all drained off much quicker and nicer. Like shown in this Goku print which has finished. So this was the one from my review video that had the layer separation due to support failure. Still on the whole a fantastic print just obviously not usable because it broke so I reprinted with increased supports as you can see the it's not a huge increase in supports but I've made the diameter of them thicker from 1mm to 1.5 and that stopped them breaking there was a little bit of separation here uh, from from the bed but again that's more an adhe adhesion issue so not the end of the world um, as it hasn't really affected the model down here. This is with Anycubic's Eco Resin and it's come out phenomenally. I'm, uh, I'm worried to clean it up actually because it's, uh, it's, it's so good. So that's the first part of the cleanup done. I've removed the supports from the figurine itself. I've left them at the bottom of the base because when it goes through the wash and cure process the curing can cause bases to warp and so having those supports on there will keep it intact. In my home workshop I use an ultrasonic cleaner with heater and add in some floor cleaner. I then leave the model to dry or if I'm feeling particularly impatient and have a print going I'll just whack it on the side of the bed and use the residual heat from the heated bed to speed up that drying process. This is probably one of those techniques that should have a do not try this at home disclaimer with it, but if you are equally impatient then make sure to supervise. Then comes the UV curing, some more model appreciation, and then even more model appreciation once the supports have been removed from the base. You'll notice there is a bit of support scarring on this model, specifically on the side, because of two main reasons. One, I went through the support removal process pretty quickly and wasn't too careful. The second was that the increase in support size meant that uh, there was a higher chance of uh, breaking and, and leaving those scars. So although the increase in support size had meant that this model had printed, I still wanted to find some settings that would result in a bit of an easier cleanup and a reduced likelihood of getting that support damage. Just as a quick side note on the Eco Resin, since I also tested that, it did seem to print very nicely. The color was good and yeah, I didn't really notice any differences compared to normal conventional resin, which is obviously a massive thumbs up for the eco side of things. The only downside is that it did seem to congeal a bit when left in the vat overnight and uh, increase viscosity, which obviously isn't great for getting the most detail out of your prints, so something to be wary of there. To dial in those supports further, I've since done a number more prints, including this one here, which is actually a full size print, taking up the entire build volume of the Mono X and it really has come out phenomenally. I'm afraid I can't show you it in great detail because it is for someone but you'll have to take my word for it that you couldn't get much better and I'm very very impressed with this machine. 
uh, the supports removed much easier using a 0.5 millimeter depth and a 0.6 millimeter contact area. Here's one final feature of my resin dripper, which I will add the download link to the comments shortly. And as always, if you enjoyed, give this video a like and subscribe. See you next time.